The Idol is one of the latest shows to be released and it's safe to say that prior to it coming out there was a lot of talk going around about the show being controversial for a number of different reasons, on the screen and also behind the scenes. With the first episode now being released, it was quite clear to see as to why it received the controversy on screen, but that then left what occurred behind the scenes, so I thought I'd break down and explain the controversy behind the show The Idol. So let's get into it. Here is why The Idol is so controversial. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Let's start with behind the scenes. So let's go all the way back to 2021. The show got announced that it was going to be created and Sam Levison started working on the project. With the casting done, the crew all set up and the filming process being underway, all was going smoothly for the show. That was until April of 2022, when the start of an amount of crew members leaving the production would take place, and would ultimately result in the change of direction for the show. Amy Simetz was working on the show as a director and she was set to direct every single one of the episodes in the first season. In fact, several episodes had been shot and crafted, but with there still being a lot more to film, she exited the production and never came back. As well as Amy leaving, a cast member called Susanna Son, who was supposed to be playing one of the cult members, also decided to leave the set as well. This was what initially sent the production into disarray, and started some of the controversy that found its way into the public space. When Amy first left, there was no real explanation as to why she did depart. But separately, shortly after, there was a report that said how some of the issues came from The weekend, who felt the show was leaning more in the direction of Lily Rose Depp's character, rather than his own so it sounded like The weekend wanted it to be more about him than the actual protagonist. This was also further leaned in on when it was said that he wanted to tone down the cult aspect of the storyline and move into something else, which would ultimately drop the feminist lens of the show, which felt as though if that was done, it would be going against exactly what the show was about, watching the demise of Joss and how she's dealing with balancing the loss of a loved one, navigating the industry and being manipulated by this extremely strange individual who's found his way into her life. With Amy gone, this then meant that Sam Levison ultimately ended up canning the almost finished production and rewriting and reshooting a lot of the entire thing again, bearing in mind that the initial production cost between 50 to 75 million dollars, so it was a lot of money down the drain. With the company releasing a statement saying that they were going to build, refine, and evolve their vision for the show, resulting in a new creative direction, it showed that they were truly looking at redoing what they had done and were getting on board with this new vision, despite it being slightly different to what it was originally supposed to be. This was again where some new controversy arose. There was controversy in the rewrite. Apparently some individuals on set felt set apart from the changes that Sam Levison made and said that some of the scenes that they were filming went from being satire to the thing that it was satirizing. So it sounds as though the environment on set wasn't necessarily the nicest to be on as there was conflict and division. It was never really confirmed how these issues were resolved, if the environment on the set changed as time went on. But the controversy behind the scenes is something that the show seems to have hanging over it, and I don't think it will lose it. As a result of the controversy, it's most probably allowed the show to draw in more viewers on its premiere due to the interest that was built around the controversy and the drama behind the scenes, and as Sam Levison said himself, which it could well be, because of the interest that was generated due to all of the issues that arose. So although it might be one of the biggest shows, I do wonder if it's for the right reasons. Now let's move on to the controversial nature of the episodes. Now after the first episode aired, it received some relatively mixed responses, but one thing that was quite apparent throughout a lot of the responses was the fact that the entire first episode basically felt like a story that didn't really have much going on, it lacked any real importance or consequential dialogue, and it just involved Lily Rose Depp walking around with next to nothing on for an hour. Quite literally, a whole hour of just that. So you can definitely understand why the initial reviews weren't that great and slammed it for being relatively substanceless. This is where one of the main controversies about the show has also come to light. The fact that the show pushed its boundaries in the sense that people were calling it an hour-long music video and that every scene basically had Lily Rose Depp being the way that she was, whilst having some kind of graphic nature can support a story or a narrative that's being pushed in a show or a movie, the fact that it was for the entire episode made it feel like something that was a bit overused. Some scenes just didn't need to be like that, and it almost felt like they wanted to direct our attention to that because there wasn't much going on elsewhere, so at least it could have the talkability factor. 
If that is what they wanted to do, then I don't feel like they're going to continue to be able to do that, and it definitely won't have the same effect. Because I imagine by episode 3, if it's still substanceless, then I feel it will have a negative effect on the show, and it will prove to be detrimental. Will the show outlive its controversies? Personally, I don't think it will. The fact that multiple cast and crew members left the set, there was allegedly a complete change in direction of the show, Sam Levison stepped in and ended up directing all of the episodes and it also being branded as a toxic set, as well as a large number of unnamed crew members coming out and giving interviews about their time on set, there's a lot of things that are going against it. All things that will live long in the memory of the people that worked there and the public who read about it. I feel like I almost heard of the controversies before I even knew what the show was about. The only thing that would be able to soften the blow of all of those alleged things would be if the show proved to be something that had such quality that all of those things just ultimately ended up drifting into the background of it, and the quality of the episodes and performances were incredible. But that's something that I just don't really see happening at the moment. There's only been one episode, so there's a lot more to come, but I just feel as though the first episode of a show is something that sets the tone, mood, pace, and direction and I just feel as though the fact that it lacked so much isn't a good sign, which means that the controversy is still at the forefront of all of our minds. The only real good thing that the show has going for it at the moment is that from a visual perspective, in the way that it was shot, it was extremely nice on the eye and felt like one of a kind. Following on from the likes of Succession, the crisp, artistic feel and the mood that a show being shot on film conveys is far greater than one that is shot digitally, so for that, I respect it. But that alone won't be enough to make the audience members forget about the controversies that seem to hang over the show like a dark cloud with a chance of rain on a day that's supposed to have sunshine. The controversies are now embedded within this show, and they date back as far as a year ago. But for now, we can just focus on the show and see how it will ultimately end up turning out. So, there you have it. Why the Idol is so controversial. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile, it's where I rate the latest releases in real time. Did you enjoy the first episode? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.